everyone and welcome back to another uh, tutorial. This week I'm not going to spend too much time on camera because I have a very um, bad eye infection so my eyes are very red and inflamed so I won't spend too much time speaking to you on camera alright. I'm going to do a very quick little, well not a quick one but a small tutorial um, this week just on um, a little tree coming up with um, a little swing hanging off of the tree okay just something nice and simple uh, a nice small scene but something nice and kind of cheerful um, you know I just want to take a break from doing the bigger canvases so just something kind of small this week all right I hope you don't mind um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial last week that one looked gorgeous didn't it so yeah let's um, have a bit of fun with this something nice and simple um, but lots of different techniques okay so we'll have a bit of fun with this this week I hope you like it um, don't go anywhere. Okay, um, here is my canvas. It's just a small canvas now, all right? It's 14 by 10. 14 inches by 10 inches. And what I'm going to do is just take a tiny drop of linseed oil, okay? I'm just going to dampen this very, very slightly. Now, I haven't primed this canvas because this is um, a fairly good canvas, all right? It's a nice, thick canvas board. I bought this in my art store, so it's really decent quality canvas, all right? Um, so, yeah, just tiny, tiny little bit of linseed oil across that, just to dampen the surface a tiniest little bit. Now, there's a reference photograph. Isn't that lovely? I may zoom in on this slightly. Um, I'm not sure what to do yet. I may just kind of move it to one side, kind of crop it a little bit. But look, we'll see as we go. Now here are my colours. Titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow, pale, cadmium red, phthalo blue, some burnt cyanide, a little burnt umber and some black. Now they've kind of run together there because it's quite oily. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Next job. The next thing we must do is draw a little horizon line. Um, now let's go around here. A nice low horizon line that will give us lots of distance in the painting, yes? And I'm thinking now what kind of a brush should I use to start? I think I'll start with the large stubby, okay? Nice simple large stubby brush. Um, you can get them from me if you wish, but they're nice, they're lovely and small. You can kind of cup them in your hands and you can kind of get lots of control, so it's fantastic. Now I'm going to do a very simple pale bluey green background on this, all right? Nice and simple. Let's go with some Naples yellow to begin with. A tiny drop of linseed oil now in your brush as well. Some white and a little phthalo blue. Now I still may add a little yellow to this, I'll see if I need it. A little more turpentine, some more white. The white does make it very thick and creamy. As soon as you add white, it gets very thick. So add a tiny amount of turpentine each time, okay? Some Naples yellow, a hint of blue again. And it's very, very strong, that blue, isn't it? And I might even take, actually, a hint of red. And that'll give it a nice distant, bluey, distant kind of colour. Do you see what I mean? It's a nice distant kind of a colour, isn't it? Let's take a bit more Naples yellow in that. Now let's just put that on. And it's moving around very nicely now because the canvas has that little bit of oil on it, you see? And this is actually quite a thin mix, believe it or not. It's very, very thin. Let's take some more of that, some white, Naples yellow, a hint of blue, and a hint of red, okay? And as it comes down, it's going to get slightly stronger in colour. Now, you can just add any kind of background to this that you like, okay? Just please feel free to put in your own kind of ideas, so to speak, you know? You don't have to copy it exactly. You can make all different kinds of colours in this. But I'm just going to do this because I think that swing hanging from the tree uh, does just something about that, isn't there? It's just really, really lovely. Um, it's a lovely scene. It's a very peaceful scene. I love scenes like this where, that are nice and um, peaceful. I love those kinds of scenes. Um, I'm just, I don't know why, I'm just kind of drawn to those types of scenes. Now, just going across that nice and rough look, just 
flinging the brush left and right here and there as you go across and as it comes down I'm going to strengthen the colors a little more okay some more blue some cadmium red I'll take a little hint of white in that uh, perhaps a little hint of yellow Naples yellow now I don't want it quite that strong so let's take a little hint of white and perhaps a more hint of red okay maybe more white into that I'm just kind of changing as I go you know what I mean it's you know you can make it your own soften that up slightly into that color above a bit more white a little bit more yellow over here now we do have a line of trees across the bottom there don't we we could very but a very quick kind of suggestion of some trees as well along the bottom if we wish uh, we don't have to but you can if you wish uh, I don't know what to do just yet I'm thinking I'm kind of thinking now as I go do I want to add that line of trees or do I want to just keep it simple um, you see if I add a nice line of dark trees that will give me a nice um, separation between the light grass here you see that's what I'm thinking that's I'm just kind of thinking along those lines hmm what to do it's a tricky one isn't it these are tricky paintings so what I'll do now I'll put that brush down okay and I'm going to take um, my bigger flat brush it's just a very big splayed out kind of brush this would normally be kind of splayed out like this but it's just a new brush so it's not kind of quite opened up yet so I'm going to use just a rough opened kind of a brush like this a dry brush and I'm going to just go around and dab that together like this dab 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 creating the impression of sort of trees and stuff like that off in the distance now I will add a little highlight to this as well just to make it a little more believable but first I'm just going to soften them all together like this this is sort of a very hilly area off in the distance okay lots of little trees way way off in the distance now what I'll do is right I'll just take a little Naples yellow little white okay just some lighter color and I could even go along and add some highlights of trees here and there look just like that see just giving a suggestion of some trees off in the distance that's all you want to do really very 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 light suggestion okay Let me fix this camera top because it's making a bit of noise there we go done and what I might do then is with the same brush um, will I use the same brush or a smaller one I'll use the same brush right let's make let's make a row of trees why not let's go let's go with some black um, I'm going to keep them warm so a little burnt umber and some cadmium yellow pale okay let's start with that darker mix first and you can see now it's kind of mixing into the color underneath normally I would let this kind of dry a little and you can leave it dry if you wish but I'm just gonna crack on it's fine it'll it'll do I'm just putting in a rough suggestion of some trees there okay very loose let's try a hint of blue so it's just kind of changing as we go that's all all I'm doing is dabbing holding my brush upright and dabbing okay and let's go with some black and some blue I'm going to go really dark now for the base of these okay some brown some black some blue and let's just dab that in there let's take a bit more burnt umber actually let's warm it slightly okay 
So I'm softening everything upwards then, you see. Now, and I go really, really dark now, just on the left hand side, I think, with some black and some blue. I'm very kind of loose, look, just damming it in here and there. And I'm going to go with a light side on the, on, on the right. Let's go with a light side on the right, okay? So I'm going to put a little shadow just along the bottom here first, yeah? Okay. And I'm going to just clean that. Just dip it into your cotton time and give it a good soak on your tissue. Just take off most of that dark colour. So I'm taking a smaller brush. I'll go with a small little medium flat kind of splayed out sort of a brush. I'm going to put a little highlight on some of these. Let's take some cadmium yellow pale, some Naples yellow. Uh, I think we'll try that for now. And let's just go on the right hand side and put a little bit of light on the right hand side of these. And it's going to soften into the dark colour then, you see. Okay, very gently now, don't overdo this. It's just nice and loose. Uh, let's put a little up here. I'm just barely tap, tapping on the canvas here now, okay? I'm hardly even touching the canvas when I'm doing this. And then let's put a little tiny hint of it here. It's catching the light. It's just kind of catching a little bit of light, that's all. Just remember to give your brush a little wipe on some tissue each time you do this. Okay. And then we can create some little separate ones down here, like so. Alright. One or two there. Here and there. Now it's just a very loose suggestion, that's all. Um, I might put a very bright highlight as well, even with a hint of blue, just here and there. Okay, just a hint. Now we're basically finished that side. If you want to actually look, we can soften it up here. And maybe even, you could even add a little bit of white up there in the background if you wanted as well. It's up to yourself. I'm just going to keep it simple. Just for now, okay? Okay, right. Let's see. Uh, let me get my reference photograph back up here now. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm going to put a very bright colour down here. Okay, a nice rich bright colour. I will go with a larger flat. The next size up. So number 12 flat. Okay, or a medium stubby would do fine. I have new medium stubbies here. Um, it's a little tricky kind of working with these when they're new. You really, what I tend to do on these when I buy these stubby brushes, okay, is I put some paint on them. So even like this, okay, when I use them, I will leave this dry in overnight. Now it won't be quite dry, but I will leave this with paint overnight. And tomorrow, I come in then and I will give it a clean and some tissue, right? Give it a good clean uh, with some turpentine and, and some tissue. And there will still be a tiny bit of paint in the bristles, you know? A tiny, tiny bit. And that will kind of stiffen up the bristles and it will kind of push them outwards then, like this. Do you know what I mean? So I will leave it on purpose. I will leave it. And then tomorrow it will be slightly puffy. So I can't use these now at the moment because they're very, very flat, really. Um, so I need something with a little bit of a body. So that's the brush I'm going to use. I'm going to start with um, a middle of the road kind of a green first as a base, okay? So I'm going to go with some cadmium yellow pale, little hint of the black. I'll take a hint of born cyana. Okay, the born cyana just to warm it slightly. You see that kind of a warm green? That's what I want. Now, at the same time, I want, I want to kind of darken it as it comes down as well, because we're going to be putting some nice highlights on this with the fan brush, creating some nice bright 
um, texture on the ground. Also, I do have a similar tutorial to this on my channel. Um, it's just a tree coming, come, kind of coming up. It's a tutorial on trees, different types of trees. Um, it's quite similar to this, but I just think with the swing coming down, it's, it's lovely. I really wanted to paint this. It's just an eye catcher, you know. A little bit of burnt umber and some yellow. So a nice medium, middle of the road kind of a green. Scrape it across there, soft, kind of soften it in as well. Doesn't matter if you soften it because we're going to be putting our fan brush over this in a moment. This is just our base, okay? Done. Put your brush down. Let's get our fan brush. Now I'm going to start off. You see, on the reference photograph, now the, the tree is very sort of in kind of two thirds. I'm going to push it back slightly. So I'm basically going to crop the photograph slightly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some nice bright colours. A damp fan brush, okay? Just dampen it slightly. Let's take some cadmium yellow, some white, and a hint of cyanide. That's going to give me a very rich, warm kind of a yellow. And I'm going to just go along there. Let's take more cyanide, actually. Let's warm it slightly. And very gently, I'm just going to go across there with this, creating a little texture. I'm not covering it completely, all right? I'm leaving some of the dark kind of underneath here and there. You know what I mean? Let's take some pure yellow on its own, move over here. And I'm just dabbing with the very tip of the fan brush. I'm not going too hard on this now at all. Just very, very lightly. Go along there all the way across. Get some more cadmium yellow on its own. Let's make it slightly richer as it comes down. Just keep this nice and simple. Add a hint of burnt cyanide here and there. You see now we have a lovely bright colour there, don't we? Way off. Lovely. Nice eye-catching colour. Take some more yellow. I'm just kind of picking up colours now with the brush as I see. Just kind of picking little colours up. See, little hints of white and yellow. Little hints of cyanide. Little hints of just yellow on its own. I'm not going to, I'm not going to overdo this. All right, let's take a look now and see how we're doing. I might soften it in just here slightly into that tree line, okay? Just a hint. Just to create almost that sort of misty feeling in the distance there. Um, I'm not sure about that side. That's kind of quite nice. I like that. So I may just brighten that slightly. Okay, there we go. No, that's probably all right. I don't think we need to go to any more trouble on this. You know, I think it's, I think it's good. All right, let's go with that. Let's move on now to our tree because I want to spend a bit of time with the tree. We have a bit of work to do on this tree here. So I'm going to take my time. I will uh, go with... A nice round brush. You could use a flat or something as well if you wanted, just for the tree trunk. I think I'll just start with um, a round and maybe this small flat. Let me just think about this. Um, okay, look, I'll start with the flat. We get the bulk of the tree trunk in with this flat, okay? Nice medium kind of a flat brush. The number eight, and I'm gonna go with burnt umber. and a hint of black i think we go with that for now perhaps a hint of cadmium red let's pick a point and just go for it okay let's not think about it too much let's go like that fill that in there 
get a nice wiggle down one side there you can see it kind of comes out and in doesn't it um i can just see two big kind of tree trunks coming off up here i mean you don't really have to follow this you could just make the tree your own really can't you you don't have to be too fussy and try to copy it exactly um i like to kind of just make it my own as well from time to time and we have another big kind of a thick one that goes straight up like that and another one we have a couple then that kind of come off of that don't we let's just keep it simple right that's enough now with the small brush let's move to the round small round brush i was thinking about adding this to my little collection of stubbies it's a wonderful little round brush i always did have it but i never kind of used it with my collection of stubby brushes but i may i may start adding this to the collection it's a lovely little brush um okay let's now let's start getting some of the trunks in and some of all these little branches here okay they come right across don't they and when painting branches remember just always give it a little wiggle because a branch will never be completely dead straight will it it's always going to be a bit of a a bend here and there now the nice one coming out now this is the one where the swing is hanging from so I just need to be a little careful with this. Okay. That. And all right, let's get some cyanide into this. It does get quite warm here and there. And now there are tree trunks in front of this. There's kind of an extra little big trunk of a branch coming up in front of this so i leave that to last so basically i'm working on the back ones here okay these will be the kind of ones far off in the back and the back of the tree so don't worry too much about the ones at the front i'll put those in in just a moment uh plenty of burnt sienna in the mix now because nice light colors okay you typically think of a tree when especially when you're painting a tree you might think of it as very dark blacky brown colors but it's not necessarily it could be light browns grays silvers even lots of silvers so for example i'm going to go with born cyanide and a little naples yellow and i'm going to put in some lighter ones here i'll put in a nice thick one here actually look a nice thick trunk coming down softening into the tree like that look give it a couple of little wiggles here and there there wasn't that lovely so born sienna and naples yellow they make a lovely color don't they and we put another one cross in front and the lovely thing about working wet into wet like this is that the colors kind of pick each other up as you're painting do you understand so you end up with lots of different shades, lights and darks kind of coming into the painting. It's wonderful. Do you see what I mean? Isn't it wonderful? And I'm just keeping it nice and simple. Let's put a couple of those light ones now as well. Uh, let's put a couple of little look light ones up here. Little highlights. Now I'm conscious as well of the fact that the light is going to be coming from the right hand side, okay? But some of these are just lighter branches anyway. So I'm not going to be too fussed. Um, a couple of colours on that. Now I'm going to move to a smaller brush. A nice small pointy little brush. Look at that. Very pointy brush. It's a size kind of a zero zero sort of a size, okay? I'll take some Naples yellow with white. And I'm going to just kind of add little highlights. Here and there. And when painting the tree trunk, 
it's a good idea just to pull your brush strokes directly down okay see what i mean so little flicks little wiggles here and there to create the impression of the bark on the tree we can do the very same now over here a couple of lighter shades coming off here and there and I'll add a couple of darks as well I'm going to take a bit of burnt umber with some black and I'm going to add some little ones to this you need to be careful when painting little branches like this because you want to make it look like the branch can support all those little twigs so you need to make it nice and thick down here where it meets the trunk okay that's just a little thing to bear in mind um, add some dark ones here and there as well just black on its own a bit of black Perhaps add a little bit of black around here. So, it's a nice little tutorial for a little tree. Um, you know, you pick up little hints and tips on these types of tutorials, small things. Do you know? Let's put in plenty of little twigs and all that kind of stuff now up around here, okay? I'm going in all different directions. Look, little flicks with the brush. Left and right. And always just make sure you give the little branches and twigs a little wiggle, okay? Well, I know a lot of this is going to be covered with foliage anyway, so I'm not too kind of concerned about getting these all perfect all right so you can see i'm just really dancing around on the canvas yes Now, what I'm going to do is, I, I'm going to make a nice, rich, dark, um, warm kind of a purple colour, okay? For the shadow on this. Now, some thalo blue, some cadmium red, and a little white. Because I can see on the reference photograph, there's a beautiful, silvery kind of a colour down at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a beautiful, silvery um mauve kind of a color it's really really lovely so i'm going to put that in with some blue some white and some red okay and i'm going to put that in down at the bottom down here i may make it a bit more bluey actually and it sort of comes from the bottom upwards does that make sense so it's like it's almost like the light from the floor is kind of casting this luminosity up on to the tree trunk it's really lovely actually a little bit more uh, i'll come up and add a little bit to some of the branches as well just to kind of tie everything together so it's not just on one part of the tree so i could put a hint of it here and there up on top as well look you see what i mean it just gives you that little glow. Now I'll move to my smaller brush because there are some brighter spots with very fine little lines. Little tail of blue and some white. And look, it's going to add a little couple of those here and there. Very bright, 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 bright kind of a blue. Just sort of here and there, okay? I'll take a bit more blue in that. A 
and the tree trunks come right out very far at the bottom then, don't they? Bring them right down. So they're really sitting in the ground here, really anchored to the floor. I'm going to add a touch of that colour underneath some of the branches as well. So I'm going to put a couple, for instance, there, a little bit under one or two of those. And then I'm going to add some darks to this. I'm going to go with some real black colour. So some pure black on its own. I'm going to create some shadows on some of the roots, okay? Some little some little shadowed areas on the roots as well. Just to show little crevices. We'll have little crevices here and there as well. Even on the bark, okay? Right, perhaps some burnt umber. Just thick paint now on its own, okay? I'm just kind of creating the little ridges on the bark, you know, that kind of a way. Let's take a hint of cadmium red and burnt cyanide because they're quite warm here and there as well. And the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to darken the grass at the end of this tree, okay? I'm going to put a very dark green in down here. Let's take some cadmium yellow, little black, some burnt umber. I'm going to put a very dark green in just down there, look. I'm going to soften it up and then bring it over to the left-hand side. Because that's where the shadow is being cast, isn't it? Let's go a bit darker. Let's take a hint of blue and some black. Going off there. Off to the left hand side like that. Now, how are we looking? So I'm gonna put some little bits of highlight now just on the right hand side of the tree. I'm gonna go with some cyanide, Naples yellow, Try that first, okay? And you have to keep going over this because it is lots of wet paint, all right? So you need to keep cleaning your brush and picking up fresh color. Let's give it some highlights up around there. And soften them in very slightly here and there. And I'll go with some bright blue then. Around here and there. Okay. Um, next what I'm gonna do is put in the very bright branches just in front of these. So I'm going to cut in front of all of this now with some bright branches. For that, I'm thinking burnt sienna, Naples yellow, maybe a hint of cadmium red. I might try those just for now. I may, be, may have to warm it slightly in a moment. So let's go and just say... Um, here, for example. There we go. Nice and bright. And you want a bit of turpentine in this as well now to help it really kind of move around. 
Uh, I'm going to go down here and cut across and go up then like that, okay? And it comes almost all the way down to the roots. Now I'll darken it slightly as it comes down, okay, into the roots. And it'll almost start to disappear. And we have another one coming off of that around here. Then I'll take a nice brush, a little tin brush with some burnt umber and black, and I'll give this some nice dark shadow just along the edge of that look. And I'll almost even soften it in a little bit as well. And a little bit of shadow just out there. Now I probably will have to leave this dry a little bit before I can add some more of these darks properly. Because it's very, very wet really. I'll go with some bright colour. Some Naples yellow. Out along here. Clean brush is very important for this, I would say. And let's just add a bit of light to this one here. Now, I think I may just leave it well alone because it's getting quite messy. And finally, I'll just take a bit of black and I'm going to go down here with some black between the roots of that. And create a little shadow and soften this in here. Now, foliage. In fact, before I do the foliage, I think I'll do the swing first. Um, but what I'm going to do is just lighten some of the right hand side over here. It's still a little bit dark for me. I'm going to take some cadmium yellow, some sienna, and some white. We'll just brighten it a little bit more. It's a hint, okay? It's just still not quite doing it. It's not bright enough. There we go. That's a bit better now, isn't it? Next thing I'm going to do is take some wet black paint, lots of thinners, okay? And I'm going to put in the two ropes on this. Two very small ropes, very thin, okay? Very carefully. And breathe. And we'll go here next to it. Quite tricky to get these absolutely straight. And then I'll take some burnt umber and just go right across that. Give it a slight angle, yeah. Take a hint of black. I will just 
indicate some of the rope here. Alright, just like so. And then perhaps hit that with a very light highlight. Like so. Now, let's crack on and get a bit of foliage done, shall we? I'm going to take little round brush. Let me find one now, a suitable one here. Um, yeah, this will do fine. We could actually use, in fact, I could block it in with just a little flat brush first, actually. I'll go with a small stubby. Let me find one. Yeah, I have a little small flat brush here, look. Let's get some nice greens on this. Nice rich greens. Little bit of cadmium yellow. Little bit of phthalo blue. That gives you a very cold green, doesn't it? Little bit of thinners in that. So, phthalo blue. Cadmium yellow pale. Then, to warm it slightly, let's try a little burnt umber. Let's just try that for now, okay? It may be a little cold. But let's just see. Try a bit more cadmium yellow in that. I'm just going to make these very sort of loose, just for now. And then I can kind of add more finer leaves on top afterwards, okay? Now, I'll take a smaller brush and get some of that colour. I'll add a bit of blue and a bit of black into this. I just want it slightly darker for over here, okay? And I'm just putting a couple of flicks in here and there. Just to suggest darker leaves. You can, of course, now just take your time and paint lots of little leaves individually, if that's what you like to do. Absolutely, by all means. But I just like to kind of simplify it sometimes. Um, you know, focusing more on the impression of the scene rather than lots of little details. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes it's nice. A little bit of yellow. Little bit of soya seed, just kind of little clumps here and there. Pick up some yellow. You can use that for some highlights as well. Um, let's come up here and add a couple of darks up here. Okay, over here, a couple more on that. It is very, 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 very bushy tree, isn't it? There's lots of, it's just lots of very rough kind of foliage everywhere. Take a bit more blue. It's going to be cooler in here on the left hand side. A much cooler kind of a green. And I'm just kind of literally flicking the brush around. Now, take some yellow. Let's put a couple of flicks of yellow in front of some of that tree trunk as well. That will kind of push the tree trunk back then very slightly. See what I mean? Okay, how's that looking so far? 
Right. Um, let's take a bit more of the yellowy colour and add a bit more of that just here and there. Catch some lights. This is a lot of fun. I loved kind of painting like this, nice and free, a very free kind of a style. It's lots of fun. Um, I don't like to be too kind of restricted with my painting. I I kind of see a lot of tutorials now, all right, and you know, you could have somebody, you could have an artist spending hours and hours and hours painting each tiny little leaf absolutely perfect like this, look, and they can be there for hours and hours and hours, and it's just kind of sped up then on a the time lapse. Um, do you know, to be honest, I just don't have that kind of patience. I really don't. I love to be free with my artwork and just, you know, go with the flow, be it nice and easy going. Um, I just don't have the time to put that much effort into painting lots of different little leaves and foliage and all that kind of thing. Do you understand what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, it's just not in me. I just don't... I don't get a kick out of that kind of painting. It just doesn't do anything for me. I like to be sort of in the moment um, sort of a thing. Do you understand? Oh, I need to darken the tree a little bit. It's very, very bright. I'm going to take some burnt umber. I'm going to go in here and darken the tree. Just a little, okay? Some black maybe with some red. Just a little bit on the um, light side, I think. It needs a little bit darker, doesn't it? Okay. I'm going to soften this just in slightly. And let's have a look and see, um, hmm, right, how are we doing? I might, with the fan brush, push a little suggestion of some light grass flicking up here and there. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this. Hmm, how about putting somebody sitting on the swing? Should we try it? What do you think? I only want to keep it simple. I'm only just painting a nice simple scene. I don't want to go into too much uh, detail with all of this at all. I just want to keep it simple. A little bit of dark there on that. I think I will. Let me just clean my brush very, very quickly. And I'm going to take white. Let's go with lots of white. Let's put impression of a person sitting on the swing. Look, just someone in white. Very, very simple. Um, hanging on to the swing. And let's give the person some nice dark hair. Okay. And let's go with maybe a ready brown kind of uh, bottom. So their kind of legs are kind of crossed over like this, yeah? That looks a bit funny, doesn't it? But look, it's just an impression, that's all. And then we need a little hint of a shadow Possibly underneath a 
Okay, a slight hint. Yeah, that's all right, that will do fine. Look, it's just a little, um, a nice little scene, that's all, nice and simple. Looks like it's flying more than anything else, but so what harm? Let's give it a little shadow on one side. I think it'll do. Yes, I think it will do. It ain't all that bad, is it? And with that, my friends, I call it a day. I may just kind of do maybe a bit more work on the tree, for instance, maybe take some very dark colour and put some stronger shadows here and there uh, in by the tree trunk, just by the roots and so on. Uh, but in general, I am very happy. Maybe even a hint of burnt sienna. I can see plenty of burnt sienna on the tree. And again, I'll just bring that one back out then slightly, okay? And I think we'll call it a day, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me just try and zoom in slightly here now if I can. Give you a really good uh, view. And there we go. Nice and simple. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back again next week with a, a nice sizable tutorial, okay? Thank you so much and I will see you very soon. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. You're missing a lot of fabulous artwork. Um, I'll see you next week everyone. Thank you and God bless. Take care.